In this video, we're going to look at changing the subject. Changing the subject is sometimes known as rearranging formulae. So here we've got three formulae. We've got x equals 4w plus 2, a equals 2 bracket y plus 3, and x over t, or x divided by t equals c. Now before we can change the subject, we need to know what the subject is. So here, x is the subject, because it's on its own, so you've got x equals. So x is the subject here, a is a subject, it's on its own on one side of the formula. And then this one, C is a subject, because you've got X over T equals C. So whenever a letter or a variable is on a one side of a formula on its own, then it's a subject. This, sub uh, this formula, just out of interest, can be also flipped around or turned around to write it as this, C equals X over T. So rather than X over T being first, you could write the C first. So the subject of a formula is the variable whenever it's on its own, okay, on one side of the formula. Let's have a look at then at changing the subject of some formulae. Now before you do this, I recommend you watch the video on solving equations first of all, to just get used to doing the same operation to both sides. Okay, so here we've got a question and it says make m the subject. So at the minute you can see that y is the subject. So let's make m the subject. So if we wanted to make m the subject, we'd want to have it on its own on this right hand side of the formula. So we'd want to get rid of this minus 3. To get rid of the minus 3, you need to do the opposite of both, so both sides. So the opposite of subtracting 3 is adding 3. So let's add 3 to both sides of this formula. So you're going to get y plus 3 equals m. Adding 3 to the left hand side would give you y plus 3. And adding 3 to the right hand side, well, minus 3 plus 3 is 0, so you're just going to be left with m. So if you just turn this around, you're going to get m equals y plus 3. So y is now the subject of the formula. Let's have a look at another one. This time we've been asked to make m the subject, and you've got g equals 5m. At the minute, g is the subject, but we want to make m the subject. If we wanted to make m the subject, we want to get rid of this 5. And this is 5 times m. So to get rid of timesing by 5, we need to divide both sides by 5. So let's divide both sides by 5. g divided by 5. Well, in algebra, you write that as g over 5. Okay, rather than writing the divide by sign, you write over. And then that's equal to, well, 5 divided by 5 is 1m, which is just m. So we're dividing by 5 to get rid of the times by 5. So you're just left with g over 5 equals m. And um, now we've got m to be the subject. It's on its own. We can turn this around to get m equals g over 5. And that's it. So m is now the subject. Let's have a look at another one. This time it says express m in terms of h. Now you notice the wording of the question has slightly changed. Instead of saying make m the subject, it says express m in terms of h. It means the same thing. Because it says express m, it means make m the subject. And as you can see here, we've got h being the subject already, so it makes sense to make m to be the subject. So, we want to get m on its own. So we want to get rid of the times by 3 and the minus 1. Now, just like solving equations, you'd want to get rid of the minus 1 first of all. Okay? Watch solving equations video just to make sure you know how to do that. So, to get rid of the minus 1, you want to add 1 to both sides of the formula. So, adding 1 to both sides of the formula would give you, well, left-hand side would be h plus 1. On the right hand side, adding 1 gets rid of the minus 1, so you're left with 3m. So we've got h plus 1 equals 3m. This means 3 times m. We now want to get rid of that. So to get rid of timesing by 3, we need to get divide by 3. So divide by 3 and divide by 3. Well, on the left hand side, h plus 1 divided by 3, well, you write that as h plus 1 over 3, that means divided by, equals m because you divide it by 3 to get rid of the times by 3 and that's it so that means m equals h plus 1 over 3 so we have made m the subject okay let's have a look at another example this time it says make m the subject and we've got w equals m squared so we want to get rid of the squared so we need to do the opposite of squaring but the opposite of square is square root so we're going to square root both sides of the formula the square root of w is the square root of w, and we square root it to get rid of the squared, so we're just going to be left with m. So that means that m equals the square root of w. Okay. Next. This time we want to make r the subject. We've got c equals 2 pi r. So we want to get rid of the 2 and we want to get rid of the pi. So let's actually just have a look at this. This means 2 times pi times r, or 2 pi times r. 
Well, if we want to get rid of times in by 2 pi, we want to divide by 2 pi. So we're going to divide both sides by 2 pi. Dividing the left-hand side of the formula by 2 pi will give us c over 2 pi. And dividing the right-hand side by 2 pi, well, we divided by 2 pi to get rid of the times in by 2 pi, so we'll just be left with r. So that means that r equals c divided by, or c over, 2 pi. And our last example. This last example says, make l the subject. So we've got p equals 2l plus 2w. So we want to get l on its own on the right-hand side. So we want to get rid of the plus 2w, and we want to get rid of the times by 2. So first of all, let's get rid of the plus 2w. So to get rid of the plus 2w, we have to subtract 2w. Remember, we did the opposite to both sides. So p take away 2w is just p take away 2w. And on the right-hand side, we took away 2w to get rid of the plus 2w. So we're just going to be left with 2l. Now, on the right-hand side, we've got 2 times l. We don't want to times by 2. We just want to get l on its own. So to get rid of the times by 2, we're going to divide both sides of the formula by 2. Dividing the left-hand side of the formula by 2 will give you p minus 2w over 2. And on the right-hand side, we'll just be left with l. So that means that l equals p minus 2w over 2. And that's it. So to change the subject, the things to remember are, first of all, whenever you want to change the subject, you want the letter they're asking you to make the subject to be on its own. If you need to get rid of things, remember you do the opposite to both sides. And uh, that's it, really.